Hi, my name is Kate and I'm studying the Agricultural Biotechnology Masters in DKIT. When I did my Leaving Cert, I went on and did an animal um, health course and I got a level six um, certificate in that. And that then led me to St. John's uh, in Cork to complete the level six in veterinary nursing there. Um, I registered as a veterinary nurse then and I continued my studies online with the um, University of Napier in Edinburgh to get my level seven in veterinary nursing. I then um, went into clinical practice and was working in clinical practice for six years, um, both in Ireland and in Canada. When I came home from Canada, I saw this uh, top up level eight degree um, through DKIT and I decided to pursue that, um, knowing that I wanted to continue on my education and hopefully uh, break into the agricultural sector following that. Um, when in DKIT, I found they had um, the level nine master's degree in agricultural biotechnology and uh, continued on uh, with that then as well. Coming from St. John's with the level six, um, I didn't have to do the level seven degree because they, um, if a veterinary nurse works in clinical practice for more than two years um, from their level six qualification, that's seen as recognized learning. Um, so that is then used in lieu of your level seven and you will be eligible to partake in the level eight degree. I pursued the level eight because um, I wanted more options as a veterinary nurse than just working in clinical practice. And I feel nowadays um, you do require that extra level of education to uh, go further in, in various industries, be it um, working as a, a rep or in um, research areas. So that was really my driving force for continuing education and pursuing the level eight degree. The class was blended with the mixture of um, people coming directly from a level seven course here in DKIT or elsewhere. Um, and people like myself who have been in clinical practice uh, for a number of years, and we were all doing it for uh, different reasons, but it was nice to have that blend of new grads versus um, people who have been in practice a long time. The lecturers were very helpful um, not having studied in a classroom setting in a number of years and coming back was quite daunting at the start but um, all the lecturers made that transition very easy and um, I was able to slot in a lot quicker than I thought. Yeah I heard about the level nine um, just through the the people that I was kind of interacting with the lecturers um, a lot of the lecturers would be working within the same kind of um, bubble, for the want of a better word. Um, they work together with some of the agricultural lecturers. So um, they told us that this is a progression path for us if we if we wanted to. Um, and also there's leaflets around the college advertising this, this course. Um, so I knew very quickly from starting in the, the level eight that I wanted to the level nine. So I hope that this qualification will help me um, get into different areas of the agricultural sector. So be it in genetics of animal breeding, crop breeding, um, a science or a, a lab based position, um, or even a PhD. Um, so the, the options are endless really with, with this master's. Um, there's a few jobs I'm currently looking at and there's a wide scope of potential.